Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this video was from around the time we had the big ice storm come through Texas. We didn't get hit too bad, thankfully, but it was kind of nice to look at. Just a little bit of winter this year. But so, I'm just going to share with you some of the meals we had over this weekend that Adam was off. So this first dinner we just made some super simple fajitas. Adam covered some flank steak in some fajita seasoning and just cooked that low and slow in the oven. And then I just cook some peppers and mushrooms and onions on the side because I'm the only one that eats them. So my fajitas end up being more veggie than meat, but that's the way I like it. Adam had wanted to grill this meat on the smoker, but since it was icy out and raining, we couldn't do that. So the meat cooked in the oven turned out super tender, but it ended up shredding wrong or shredding instead of slicing. So it was kind of more like fajita seasoned shredded beef which was still delicious. So we just made these super simple on some store-bought tortillas and we had some Mexican rice on the side. And this was an easy and delicious dinner and it started our weekend off great. And as you can see, Angus is super bored and he's so ready for everyone to feel better. Angus, what are you doing? Me sweet gaming. <laughs> for lunch the next day, we had some leftover tortilla soup. I've shown you guys that recipe before. I'll link a video to that down below. But I wasn't really feeling like soup for lunch. So I decided to take out all of the stuff in the soup and put it on a quesadilla. So I added some American cheese to one tortilla. I know, gross, right? No, it's delicious. American cheese on the bottom and then I strained out the soup or strained the stuff out of the soup and put it on the tortilla. Covered that with some more cheese and some diced onions. And then I'm just gonna get this grilled up to make an easy lunch. So I didn't catch the flip here, but since there was still a little bit of the soup juice, I guess, inside the quesadilla, a lot of my stuff fell out in the pan, but that's okay, because who doesn't like some of the burnt cheese that cooks on the bottom? This turned out really good. I just served it with some salsa and sour cream and some mashed avocado with lime. Super simple, so delicious. Welcome back 
to my messy bedroom. I'm in the middle of doing laundry. We've all been super sick. As you know, well, if you didn't know, we've been super sick. And I don't know what we all had. I'm finally feeling better. The past couple days, I would sleep nine, ten hours. Then later on, still have to take a nap on the couch for like two hours, and I was out. Like, dead asleep on the couch. And usually when I get sick, things, like, all kind of feel cruddy. But I'm never out like that. But I just couldn't do anything for a couple days. But the boys started feeling better. And then now I'm finally feeling better today. But then Adam's not feeling great again. So I don't know if we all caught, like, three different things and we're just passing them around. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I'm hoping mine doesn't come back. I still feel kind of cruddy. But like yesterday and the day before, I was so stuffy and my throat was hurting so bad. And like when I woke up, I was coughing so bad. But yeah, thankfully I feel better today. So we still slept in super late. I think I finally slept off the last of the ick. So I have been washing all the sheets, Lysoling our bedroom, like super cleaning the bedroom, airing everything out. Like while all the sheets have been off the bed, I had the window open. All that kind of stuff so I probably just let in more stuff for us to get allergies from but that's okay I still have a load in the washer a load in the dryer this stuff is clean and needs to be put on the beds these are clean clothes I still need to do another load of clothes because these have just been sitting in this basket for a week because I've felt like crud but yeah I need to get the sheets put on the bed I need to get the kitchen cleaned up I think we're just having frozen pizza for dinner. That's what Adam brought home, so sounds good to me. They're better frozen pizzas this time, not Totino's, which I really like Totino's if I'm in the mood for them, but these are, I think, tombstone pizzas, which I don't think I've had in years, but hopefully we're all getting better. Adam and Garrett are on the couch taking a nap right now. Tucker's drawing in the schoolroom, and I just need to get this done. Like, everything in here is clean. I just got to get all the sheets put back on and all of that, which is my least favorite thing to do because this bed is huge. And it hurts my back. But got to get it done. So we're sleeping on clean sheets and not getting germs back and all that, which I don't even know if it works that way. My mom always told me, once you were over it, you're not going to get it again. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But I don't want to sleep on icky, sweaty, germy sheets. So they're getting cleaned. So... I don't know what else we're going to do today. Might take y'all around with me for whatever that is. And we'll share dinner with you, even though it's nothing exciting. And then I'll probably roll into it tomorrow because I probably won't do enough today to get much of a video because I just want to go sit down and read or something when I'm done with this. So I'm going to get that done. <laughs> So dinner was so easy on this night. Like I said, we just had some frozen pizzas. I added some extra mushrooms to mine. And to go with it, we just had some of these Kohl's mozzarella sticks, some garlic butter, and ranch for dipping. Good morning guys, we are all feeling much better this morning. So, we still woke up a little bit late, but we're gonna get some schoolwork done, we're gonna get back in the routine of it, and Angus barking at everything like he does every morning. But anyway, 
we're gonna get some schoolwork done and then I need to get this cleaned up today because we need our schoolroom back so, I guess we'll see you guys in a little bit to see what we get up to So we got a package this morning and I decided to open this up and check them out. Adam finally ordered some new pots and pans. He's been wanting some new ones for a while. These are the granite stone diamond pans and these are not sponsored by the way. Adam just decided to get these. He thought they were really neat. So we're going to try these out really soon and let you know what we think. He's been missing our 12 inch skillet because our old one is so old that it finally is not non-stick anymore and so we just don't use it anymore. But now we got a whole new set and we can't wait to try these out. So we got the boys room all cleaned up. That comforter is still in the dryer, and then I'll fix all of this mess. They're making a day bed out of the bottom here. And getting all their animals and stuff picked up so I can vacuum. Oh, I can make your house. Mm. Pretty cool. We just need some blankets to hang up in the front. And these can be all windows. Yeah, <coughs> Well, you make it nice and neat, yeah? Because we just cleaned up. Yes? Yes. So for this last dinner, this was my absolute favorite of the week. I'm going to call this creamy three bean chicken chili. And this was amazing. So we have a package of chicken thighs that Adam just trimmed up. And we're putting these in a baking dish. And he just seasoned them with a whole bunch of spices. I don't really have measurements for any of this. We just kind of threw it together. But season to taste however you like it. But this was so good. So on this chicken, we have some onion powder and garlic powder, some salt and pepper, of course, some ground cumin, smoked paprika, some chili powder and some cayenne, and then he ended up adding on some butter and some Tony seasoning, and he just put some foil over these and put them in the oven on 350 degrees for about an hour until the chicken was cooked through to 165. This chicken turned out amazing. I told Adam it would be good just served over rice all by itself. It was so juicy and tender and delicious. So for the three beans for this chili, we're gonna throw in some pinto beans, some great northern beans, and we were gonna use cannellini beans, but the store was completely out, so we're using some dark red kidney beans. 
We're just gonna add some chicken broth to our pot, and of course, you can add more later if you need it. We're gonna get that started heating through while we cut up our chicken. Look how tender and amazing this chicken was. We had a couple of pieces left over for lunch the next day and I just threw it on a tortilla. So, so good. So we're just gonna get our chicken into our pot after we chop it all up and start adding in our beans. So we drained the pinto and northern beans and then the kidney beans, we left the juice in the can. And we also added in about the equivalent of a can of frozen corn. The chicken was seasoned enough that you could probably get away with not adding any more seasoning to this, but it's chili. It's gotta be seasoned really well. So we added in just a little bit more chili powder, onion and garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. And then we're gonna throw in just a dribble of jalapeno juice from a jar of jalapenos, and about a cup of heavy cream. You can use more or less depending on how creamy you want it. And then we're just gonna let this simmer for, I don't know, 15 minutes. This chili had the best flavor. It was so creamy and delicious and it was just perfect. Like I kept, I got two bowls. I kept telling Adam how good it was. And we'll definitely have to make this again. This is definitely on my list of top five things Adam has ever made. We just topped our bowls off with some shredded cheese and sour cream, some Fritos and green onions, and this was perfection. I highly recommend giving this one a try. It was so, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending some time with us. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.